Jeria Digital tells you many different stories of the world. The Horrible Story About Ghosts My father has already retired. But when I was young, he was a building contractor. At that time, he had built many buildings in Bulacan province. He was an honest and skillful contractor. My mother loved my father very much. They met each other in their twenties and got married soon. Later they had three children including me. My elder brother and sister live in Manila now. I live in Bulacan with my parents. My father loved us very much. But he couldn't spend enough time with us because of his work. Sometimes he was away from home for several weeks. So we missed him very much whenever he was not home. We prayed for his safety all the time. My mother was a nice lady for everybody and had a deep devotion to God. We never skipped church on Sunday. And she helped poor neighbors regularly. She believed in God and thought God bless my father all the time. One rainy day my father was with us at home. The next day he had to leave home for his big construction project in Manila. We had a nice dinner with mother's delicious food. Everybody was very happy together. Mother was really happy then. Early the next morning, I heard their argument. It had never happened before. On that morning, they quarreled in their bedroom. And suddenly my father shouted to us to call an ambulance. All of sudden, mother fainted away. Father was in panic. Because of my mother, my father could not go to Manila. So he called his staff to manage the field of construction work. And he took care of his wife all day long. In the afternoon, he heard the bad news. A crane collapsed at the construction site. Seven workers died there. My father would have died if he were there. He was sorry for the unfortunate accident but I was thankful because my father was still alive. My father kept on working at the construction sites until he retired. Last year, when my father retired, I took a trip to Malaysia with my parents. When we had our dinner at a fancy restaurant, my mother suddenly said to my father, You survived because of my fake fainting. So you should be thankful to me. What a happy family you have now. If you died early, I would be a widow with young children. What? Your fainting was fake. Oh my God. All of a sudden, my father and I knew the truth. We asked my mother what happened on that miserable day. My mother revealed her secret at the dinner table. She slowly told us her story. On that morning, when I saw your father, he was not alone. She said to me, My father just listened to her. The seven bloody ghosts were surrounding your father. And God let me know I should not let your father go to work. I was shocked by my mother's story. But I could not tell your father what I saw that morning. He might have thought it was superstition. So I just told him not to go to work for one day. But he didn't listen to me. So we argued about it. My father and I kept on listening to her very carefully. 
I could not convince him. The quarrel was hopeless. So I made up my mind to fake fainting. I knew your father loved me very much. So he couldn't go to work if I fainted. My father didn't say anything. He just wept tears in silence. And my mother and I wept together. Some restaurant guests glanced at us. But we didn't care about them at all. After that trip, my father started studying the Bible and praying for the dead co-workers every day. I hope they rest in peace. God will bless them all and forever be with them. We will deliver a variety of issues and knowledge around the world. Thank you for watching Jaria Digital.